Welcome to Microsoft Dynamics NAV Coffee Mug Tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Enecta, a Microsoft Gold certified partner. Using a coffee mug as an example, I'll show you how to create items, purchase orders, sales orders, manage inventory, and much more. So go ahead and grab your own cup of joe and let's get started. Hello and welcome to the uh, Coffee Mug Tutorials. Um, today uh, I'm going to do a little bit different than I've done usually. I'm going to be like um, moving a little bit into add-on packages and uh, extensions with the next videos. Uh, I'll of course do some of the base packages still, but there are a few things that uh, very good third-party vendors have uh, created for NAV, uh, which is worth uh, taking a look at. Uh, and uh, highly recommend adding to your system if you don't have that. Um, one of the things is for example the FedEx communication um, that we can natively communicate with FedEx straight through NAV. Uh, and right now I have uh, a problem. I actually have to shop the rates for FedEx uh, for an order and rather than going to the FedEx website and entering in uh, the weight uh, etc. Um, I want to do this straight out of NAV. So I've enabled something called uh, rate shopping, which is from Lanham and Associates. And please check out their website for stuff. Um, we use them all the time. Um, so what I'm going to do is go here and show you something called um, shipping. So if I type in shipping, I of course get like a million things that have to do with shipping. And I'm going to expand it out here a little bit. And here I can see something regarding eShip. eShip is a module from Lanham, uh, which does a lot of things. Uh, one of the things it does is connect UPS and FedEx to NAV uh, natively. So you don't have to go outside of NAV. And I'm actually going to go here into Shipping Agents. I go to Shipping Agents and eShip. So I can see here I've set up DHL, FedEx, uh, UPS, USPS, but in FedEx, if I go into the services, I've enabled two services to be rate shopped. So I want um, people to be able to see the cost of sending with FedEx Express Saver and FedEx First Freight. So basically those are the two things um, that I want my sales people to be able to shop. I can just add more services here I could have UPS, etc., uh, and that would show up in the same fashion. Uh, let me just show you how that works. So if I go into my sales orders, uh, and this is where it's most pertinent, obviously you can do this on a quote as well, and there is a module where you can just go into rate shop without going into a sales order and check out the rates. I'm going to create a new sales order uh, to the Canon group favorite customer. They're overdue, of course. That's okay. Uh, now I'm going to sell them my standard uh, standard coffee mug out of the blue location. I'm actually going to ship them or quote them 300 and let's say five dollars each. Uh, and the shipping address I'm going to change to send it to New York. Uh, New York, New York. And the zip code, which is important for all of this stuff, is 9. 10,009. Okay. So now. A customer asks me, okay, can you ship this? Of course you can ship it. Uh, and what do you offer? And I can just go in here into let's say actions, there's eShip. I go to rate shop and it communicates with FedEx dynamically. And it's telling me that it can charge an incredible amount of money for sending it Express Saver. It's very heavy that I'm sending. Uh, and the weight is below a minimum requirement of 151 pounds. I think this was just in the setup. But the 
important part here is that you can actually shop the rates right off the sales order. Um, let me just increase this so we get, let's say it's 500. I think each mug was like half a pound, so the really heavy mugs. Uh, and here we go. So we get the valuations here. I think this is actually a test, so it comes up with some funky numbers, but you can understand the um, the feature, how it works. And this would just list more and more services where you can share.